Arthritis is a common condition that can affect many joints in the body. It is the wearing away of cartilage or a soft surface that coats the bone. As that layer narrows, the bones start getting closer and rubbing against each other. So there are many causes of arthritis. The most common is normal wear and tear that can happen to anybody over time. An injury can also be a cause of arthritis. This traumatizes the cartilage and causes it to narrow more rapidly. There are several ways that finger arthritis is different from arthritis in other parts of the body. Specifically, we really use our hand and fingers for everyday activities all the time. So the stiffness and the swelling can really affect our quality of life more than, let's say, arthritis of other joints of the body. The most common symptoms of finger arthritis are swelling, pain, and stiffness. In the hands, because we use them in the fingers so frequently, we might feel a little bit more the stiffness that accompanies arthritis. There are several non-surgical treatments for finger arthritis. These include anti-inflammatory medications. These are common medications like ibuprofen or Aleve, which is naproxen. We can also use splints. These are immobilization devices that we can wear across the joints that really help with the pain symptoms. Surgery becomes an option for finger arthritis once non-operative treatment fails or no longer provides relief to the patient. There are several types of arthritis in the hand, including at the far part of the fingers as well as at the base of the thumb. Surgery for arthritis at the base of the thumb is more common, and again, this becomes an option once non-operative management no longer provides relief. Surgery itself for arthritis at the base of the thumb is typically called ligament reconstruction and tendon interposition. It's a long term, but to summarize, we remove a small bone at the base of the thumb and move a tendon to be in its place. From this surgery, people do go home the same day, but typically they are immobilized or in a splint for several weeks, typically followed by several weeks of therapy. I usually let my patients know that it'll be several months before they're back to doing all of their normal activities.